a uh, wrist shot, not because we're bowing down to Sir Lancelot Vanity. No, we're not bowing down to the priest of self-aggrandizement. Uh, the reason why I'm giving you this wrist shot is because the, the big lugs on the Orient Saturation Diver uh, probably give my, um, of all my watches, probably has the best wrist presence uh, of any watch that I own. And what I'm trying to tell you is that Sometimes you think you have a favorite watch, and I would probably say in the box, my favorite watch is the Seiko Tuna. This is the brand new 033 here, and uh, it's on a uh, Super Engineer. Ah, there you go. And uh, here's the uh, the older model, the 017, uh, which is uh, on a uh, an end mill. And uh, the lugs aren't that long, north to south. The lugs are long, north to, north to south, on the Orient Saturation Diver. And so while I am in love with the unique case design of the Seiko Tuna, and I wouldn't be able to get rid of, I don't think I can get rid of either one of my tunas. Uh, I don't think I can get rid of them. What I want to tell you is that uh, I think, in terms of sheer wrist presence, I think the Orient Saturation Diver is probably the one. I mean, if you want a signature watch, you know, if you're like on a TV show, if you're Bosch, if you're a cop, and, you know, Bosch wears a uh, Rolex Deep Sea Dweller, from what I can tell, I mean, that's his signature watch. I'm not on TV, so I don't have to wear just one watch to brand me. But if you just wanted one watch to brand you, uh, you'd have to pick it based on wrist presence. Now, I want you to see the uh, the tuna, the way it... Uh, the way it plays compared to the uh, the Orient Saturation Diver with the shorter north to south lugs. It does have great wrist presence, but I'm going to tell you, uh, wearing the Orient Saturation Diver all day on Wednesday and Thursday, I noticed it had much better wrist presence than the Tuna. Don't get me wrong, the Tuna has it's a significant timepiece. It has wrist presence, but it's not the same. You want to know what the best wrist presence watch is for your money? It's, it's just, I don't know how they do it. It's a Seiko uh, Sumo. It's only 44 millimeters, so it doesn't play like a giant clown watch. But the, the lugs are so beautifully curved north north to south that even at 44 millimeters, it, it plays really nice <clears throat> on the wrist. It has good wrist presence. So it, at a price point of a little under 400 bucks, uh, the Seiko Sumo is probably one of the best wrist presence watches you can get. And because it's 44 millimeters... You know, you're, you could probably get away with a, a six and a half inch uh, to eight inch wrist with this one. And uh, let's look at the wrist presence on a 44 millimeter. Uh, let's look at this uh, Citizen Pro Master. You know, of all the my watches, this is the one that looks so good and you know uh, out of the box. I don't keep it in a box because it's uh, Echo Drive Solar, but I don't wear it that often. I wish I wore it more often. I, what are you going to do, man? First world problems. Don't have time to wear all these watches. Now, the first watch I ever purchased uh, to get me out of my fashion watch days is the uh, Echo Drive, the Echo Zilla. I don't even think I'm going to, but uh, it has really nice wrist presence, obviously. 48 millimeters, and it's just it's just big. It's It's a thick case. It's a thick case watch. But I have to tell you, wearing the Orient Saturation Diver the last two days, it may not be as unique looking as the Seiko Tunas, but I have to say, it's the one in terms of just wrist presence. And, and I, have, I have to believe it's probably the north to south uh, lugs that give it the presence. So I just wanted to tell you that I, I think there's a disparity between the watch that we like out of the box and the watch that actually wears best on our, our wrist. Oh, there he is. What are you doing here? I live here, dude. Oh, okay. Well, you're, we're going. You you missed out on the party. You missed out on the wrist presence party. We're going. You got to work out. You got to do your kettlebell workout, you fat man. That's true. I do. I'm out of here. Until next time, I'm out.